All right, what's up you guys? We are back. I'm here with the little one and we are going to do a review. We got a review copy of Leg... Go ahead, tell them. Uh, we watched it all. Well, tell them what it is. It's about... No, what's it called though? Droid Tales. Lego Star Wars Droid Tales. Go ahead, you want to talk, talk to them? Tell them what it's about? It's about C-3PO and... Oh, seriously? I may disown you if you don't remember his name. C C C C C3P and R2D2 uh are talking about droid tales of their past and it takes place it takes place it takes, at the Ewok village. Yeah, so it, it takes, takes place after Return of the Jedi. Very good. Yeah, right after the Battle of Endor. And then a mysterious figure. Mhm. Mm kidnaps uh, R2-D2 mm -hmm. and it tells t droid tales about like when they're traveling trying to find R2-D2. Very good. That was a very good explanation. Um, basically it's a five episode mini series that aired on Disney XD last year. Which is awesome. Yeah, last summer. And so they, Disney decided to release all five episodes uh, on DVD only. So there's a look at it. And like he said, it takes place right after the Battle of Endor, after Jedi, and someone steals R2-D2. And during all five of the episodes... They go to places that were in the games and were in the movies. Right. It's basically a remake of the movie in a Lego. So yeah, of the first six movies. And what I really enjoyed about it, one of the things I really enjoyed, is they weren't afraid to poke fun of themselves. Like, they weren't afraid to kind of make fun of Jar Jar or make fun of the first movie a little bit, give it a little dig. But it, it was loads of fun. I believe the only voice actors to come back that were in the movies were uh, Anthony Daniels and then... Uh, Some Kane? No, not Lando. I was going to say Lando Calrissian. Yes, Lando, but Billy D. Williams, he came back. Uh, to do his voice. Uh, so here's a look. Overall, how'd you like it? Out of... What do you, what do what you want to do? Out of 10? Out of 10 stars? Out of 10, it mm -hmm. would deserve, of my opinion, an 8 or 9. I would, I would recommend 9 out of 10. You think a 9 out of 10? I think I'm going to agree with you. It was very enjoyable. It's enjoyable for kids. He's 10, and he really dug it, and... I'm not 10, I'm older. I'm not and usually a Star Wars fan, but it... Which is so it, disgusting. It is really good, because I like Lego Star Wars, but I don't like the movies except for the last one they made. I just... I Who like, are you? I like... Who are you? I like the Lego types, and not the movies. But yeah, overall, it's it's very enjoyable. You can sit down with your kids and watch this and not be bored and think they're just lame. It, it's it's very funny. They do it in a humorous way. Five episodes, you can knock them out quick. Now, as a collector, I am a little bummed. It's nitpicky, I know. I'm a little bummed that they didn't do a Blu-ray DVD combo pack and they just chose to do DVD only. I would have liked to have seen a, a Blu-ray release no. of this. Mm -hmm. Why not? Why not? Um, but you know what? Let's talk about what they did release. The pi the uh, the picture on it is fine. Audio is good. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Let me finish my thought. Uh, if you're looking at the slip cover, we've got an embossed slip cover, so very nice. You get on the inside. You want to go on the floor? Go ahead. You I'm get. Turn that around. Of course, you get your code and whatnot. There's a look at the disc. Uh, a cards. Yeah, I think there's a couple cards in there, huh? You get a couple trading cards with it. Let's open ours up. I don't know if... You show some, I want to show some. No, here, you can have both of them. I don't know if they're all the same or if there's different cards. There you go. They're probably... Ooh. You, no, you take one. There's like three. Okay, so it looks like there's three cards. There's, there's a... Jedi. Yeah, I got a Jedi, uh, too. And I got Darth, Darth Maul, mm -hmm. and... And... Anakin Skywalker, which they do use these f for screenshots in the movie, which basically, yeah. as you can see, where they are right now is where they sometimes feature in the movie. 
collect all th oh so there's three sets it says right on here so there's three different sets you can get so i guess you can buy the movie or, or you can like get, get them on set. ebay or trade for them or whatever but i really loved it Ooh, oh, and, and i'm a huge star wars fan so what i didn't tell myself oh yeah go ahead finish your thought they did mix it not only oh. Star Wars, yes. well, it is Star Wars, but they not only did the saga, mm -hmm. but they mixed Rebels. The yes. One episode was completely Rebel-like, and from the episodes, it really, like, copied it, and it basically just told the episode in Lego way, mm -hmm. funnier... Yeah. And it keeps the story. It keeps the story going, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. cause they met and you know, mm -hmm. like, it intertwines. Yeah, it does intertwine, and I thought that was a really uh, creative way to combine kind of two generations. You've got kind of the the older fans can enjoy it, the newer fans can enjoy it. And then the young ones can enjoy it because, you know, a lot of them are watching Rebels. So I thought that was really kind of smart to throw in uh, the Rebels crew as well. They're, they're in one episode, but I, it was kind of neat seeing the the Rebels characters mixing with the new ones. Can I tell? Or the old ones. I definitely recommend picking it up. Honestly, I didn't, like, I didn't know if I was going to... Like it. I didn't know if I was going to like it, but it I really was, did. I thought it ended as a movie instead of mm -hmm. shorts, because, yeah. like, it was good, mm -hmm. it was fun, it, mm -hmm. it actually had five episodes, which we thought were going to be short, but mm -hmm. it actually turned out to be 30 minutes? Yeah, about 22 it minutes basically, each. Yeah. It basically turned into a full-on movie of five episodes. Yeah. Now, my only little gripe, besides it only being on DVD... I would have liked uh, to have seen no little gripe, little uh, gripe, little gripe. I would have liked to have seen some special features on here. There's no all we get are um, a couple trailers. Actually, two. Two no, trailers. One for exact. Yeah, we get the trailer for Rebels, Rebels, which was cool. Which was really awesome, and yeah. we didn't know if it was season one or season two. It has to be season two. Yeah. And then uh, what's that other one? Zootopia. Zootopia, which is yeah. pro. It, which is coming out in this year, mm -hmm. either that or in another year. No, I think it's the summer. Yeah. Yeah. And you should see it because the trailer was awesome too. Yeah. Yeah. So we got two trailers and that was it. I always love bonus features. I'm not talking necessarily commentaries on each episode, but commentaries like. Commentaries are bad. No, commentary. I like commentaries, mm -hmm. but maybe a behind the scenes look, um, you know, the voice actors. I I enjoy stuff like that. Um, so I think as far as the disc goes, it, it was kind of lacking in that category. But as far as the content goes, oh, can I show them the? Uh, it was it was very good. Nine out of ten. If you're a really big fan, of, like mm -hmm. my mom mm -hmm. and somebody else I know, mm -hmm. um, they would. For fans, they would rate it like a million out of a million, like, a million out of like two million. Cause they no, are, that's bad. A million out of two million. You mean like two million out of one million? Yeah, yeah we'll just reverse. It's it. it's really it's like really good, mm -hmm. funny. There is our review of Lego Star Wars Droid Tales. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. We recommend you definitely pick it up. Five out of seven. Five out of seven? What kind of rating seven, system? Seven, seven out of 80. What kind of a herky-jerky <laughs> system are you going to now? It's awesome. All right. So thank you, and we will catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.